Morning truck buddies, airborne trucker, AKA Mr. King size bed, AKA Mr. John Deere. Checking in from uh, Norfolk, Virginia. So it's been a mile. Uh, do a little weekly update of what we got going on this week. So I'm gonna have uh, some other stuff posted in this video about you know what we did this week. Monday delivered a cotton picker in Jay, Florida. Uh, it's not Monday, Tuesday, something like that. Days run together. Delivered that. All right, bounced or traveled. Deadhead, whatever you want to call it, because every company calls it something different. Went to Savannah, Georgia, 450 miles to go down to Miami. All right. Delivered a, a bucket loader. Got to drive that, got to load it and unload it. It's kind of cool. Some places you have to load it, some places you have to unload it, stuff like that. Because I guess it's a liability thing. So, delivered in Miami, swung by Orlando, picked up mail, went back to Savannah, and picked up a, a battery. That's what it said on the paperwork. It wasn't a battery, it's a big ass generator. It's like a um, it's a cat generator. It's like 12, 12 foot by 8 foot by 8 foot. 30,000 pounds with two boxes, two crates. Easy money, but the problem is, picked it up Friday, not Friday, excuse me, Thursday. I, all the days are running together. Anyway, I picked it up and I can't deliver it till Tuesday with it being a holiday. So, easy load, but got to sit on it for three days, three, four days. That's what kills you. It don't matter who you're working for, you know, what you're pulling. When you have to sit on a load and that you can't deliver early, you can't get to the next load, but it is what it is. It's trucking. Sometimes you're the hammer, sometimes you're the nail. And here recently, it seemed like I'm being the nail, but I'm kind of averaging. The last two weeks, I've been able to average 6K to the truck about, you know, about two, three loads. I, yeah, I think two loads, two loads last week and uh, two loads this week, three loads. I, or it's a, a little less demanding, same pay. It is what it is. I, I've seen comments. Oh man, you know, you're not making any money in that oversized freight TMC. Yes, you are correct. I understand that. The main reason why I'm doing this is to get experience. You get the experience, you go somewhere else. It's all about having the experience. So, you know, me pulling these, you know, 14 foot high loads and 12 wide loads and stuff like that. You know, it's just getting experience. One day I might move on. I will talk about damn other videos. I might move on. It just, TMC's not for everybody. You move on, you do bigger and better things. You gotta do what's best for you and your situation. I say it time and time again. The pen you should always follow is your own. You can get advice you know, from other drivers, but the opinion you should always follow is your own. Do your own research, do your due diligence, no matter, no matter who you decide to drive for. If you want, you know, even if you buy a truck or whatever the case might be, now I'm getting off on a tangent. But do your due diligence. So, I'm going to deliver this Tuesday, and I have no idea where we're heading next. Like I said, I'm still learning the quote unquote lanes for specialized. So, uh, might bounce up to the port, uh, Dundalac. Uh, might bounce to Ohio for a grain car. I, I honestly don't know. I think there's some school buses somewhere around here. I, I honestly don't know. So, it'll be another video on that. Overall, though, yeah, can't complain. It is what it is. Uh, barely simple. Uh, thanks for everybody for watching and tuning in. Uh, I still have that damn headset. Nobody has wanted this headset. I can't even give it away. A free freaking headset. Nobody has come up to claim this uh, blue paired headset. Hey, I still have it. It's back there somewhere. Uh, but it's Saturday. Um, oh, one thing I want to touch on right quick. When you're driving, if you have the time, if you feel that you're getting tired, mentally or physically, or you just you, you, you just you had enough for the day, hey, stop driving because you're dangerous. So yesterday I was driving. I started the day early, uh, picked up all that good stuff. Um, I stopped in right there on the border of Georgia to pick up whatever the case might be. I I could have made it all the way here last night, but. It's a new place. I wasn't sure where I was going. I wasn't sure where I was going to park at. And me personally, I don't like driving somewhere when it gets dark and uh, 
I'm not, you know, not not sure where I'm going. But if you get tired, you're frustrated, hey, shut it down. If you have the time to drive the next day, hey, just shut it down. If you're not mentally aware or mentally alert to drive, hey, just shut down. That's what I did. I stopped in uh, Kenley, North Carolina last night. Uh, got up first thing in the morning about 6.30. Got back on the road. Finished the last three hours. No big deal. But, yeah, if that's something to think about. If you're not in it mentally, physically, and you just, you just don't feel like you can drive, hey, park for the night. Because I felt myself, you know, driving and, you know, you start, you know, you get tunnel vision. You know, you start daydreaming. Next thing you're like, oh, shit, you didn't drove an extra two a mile or two, and you don't even remember it. But that, that's dangerous. So like I said, if you get to a point to where you don't need to drive anymore for the night or for the day, hey, just shut down. Even if you just take a break, a quick little 30-minute break. But I was, I was already, you know, had things on my mind. I was like, oh, I just need to go ahead and stop for the night. Stop for the night and finish up today. So, yeah, but we are in Norfolk, Virginia, parked at a truck stop. It's called, um, oh, shoot. Cover up the camera. Big Charlie's Truck Plaza. Um, it's 5792 Northampton Boulevard, Virginia Beach, Virginia. Uh, the delivery's at the port. It's like uh, 10 miles away. Parking here is $15 a night. So, hey, it is what it is. Cost me the boss. You know, guaranteed to have a spot. There's trucks everywhere. It says parking for 500 trucks. Uh, it's possible. I, mean, I didn't even venture that far. Uh, first parking spot I found, I could get in with this RG and I was waiting and parked. You know, that's something you got to think about, you know, always leave yourself an out when you're trying to park for the night so you don't tear nothing up. This trailer, it turns terrible. The same damn turn you can have with a 53 or 48 uh, regular flatbed, it's totally different with an RG in. It just, I freaking hate it, but it's something you got to get used to and you know, it is what it is, but Labor Day weekend, uh, wife's inside, she can find a little slot machine to play on and I'll probably go there and join her in a little bit. Maybe. Got a couple bucks burning a hole in my pocket. Um, well, that's it, man. Uh, I'm trying to think of something else. Uh, yeah, just waiting to check in at the hotel at 3 o'clock. But right now, I'm just, just going to enjoy this long weekend. Gonna drink a little bit of adult beverages. I'm going to try to find a cigar. I'm thinking about uh, looking into cigars. You know, got time to reflect and think about things. So I think I'm I said I'm gonna pick up cigars, but I might smoke one and like change my mind about it. But something I've been thinking about getting into, I've been doing some research. You know, you really don't inhale them; you just kind of just, I guess, the conversation started. So it just give me something to do on the weekend while I'm drinking some uh, fancy adult beverages. But enough of that. Any questions? Feel free to reach out to my email. Leave your comments and questions on here. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, like I said, thank you for tuning in. Uh, thank you for subscribing. I uh, love each and every one of y'all, man. Enjoy your weekend. Be safe. Be blessed. Airborne Trucker, a.k.a. Mr. John Deere, signing off. truck buddies airborne trucker aka mr john deere checking in from j florida j florida another cotton picker cp 770 cp 770 detached waiting to get unhooked we're down in Jay, Florida. We're going to go pick up in uh, Savannah, Georgia and come back down to Miami. How ironic. Been on Specialized about a month and a half and been to Florida more on Specialized in so. Let them do their thing, get unloaded. We'll be 
right back.